Oops, and I didn't put them in neutral. Well, that sucked. We're turning the boat around just so we can shoot a video inside the galley. One of the keys to boat handling and boat ownership is just getting comfortable using your boat. I can single handle this in this dock. I know the slip well, there's not a, not a current. You always wanna move a boat where you're comfortable. If you're not comfortable, have an extra set of hands. And one of the key lessons, always go slow. You don't wanna go faster than the speed you wanna hit something. We have a couple cameras on so I can talk about how we're using the engines. The key to, to any docking maneuver is going slow, but also the key is practicing. If you own a boat and you're not comfortable docking it, find a local captain and, and take lessons because you wanna practice repeatedly and then do it on your own so that you don't get rusty. If I go a while without using my boat, I have to think more than if I'm doing it every day or every week. And that's gonna be the same for a particular recreational boater who only uses it part of the year. You just need to get time getting used to how your boat handles. A boat steers completely differently than uh, a car and every boat handles a little bit differently. So knowing your boat and being used to it's one of the keys to being comfortable on the water. So join me as we turn around the sweetest thing, our Genoa 1095. Before leaving the dock, we're gonna start the two engines, make sure they're running, open the helm door so we have good circulation. We're gonna move back and make sure we have our, our lines in place, let the bow line off, and then kinda before we take the spring lines off, we assess the weather. Anytime you're moving the boat, you wanna know what the weather's like. In this case, we know we don't have any current because we're in our home marina. Uh, there is a slight wind that's coming from uh, the south to the north. So we want to be conscious that it's going to be blowing us off the dock. Uh, we want to be aware of that when we come in and when we go out. When you're single handling, one of the keys is making sure that you uh, have the line set up. So I got my fenders on my port side. I'm adding uh, lines to the port side so we can just spin around and tie right off. Before untying any of the lines, we made sure the engines were running. You want to make sure everything goes into gear before you leave the dock. It's a lesson that we got from Captain Boomy that we always uh, added to our own boat check. We do a mental check, make sure we have our lines in place. We assess the marina in case there's any other traffic and we cast off the lines to turn around. So we have a little wind pulling us off the dock. We wanna make sure we just back out. So we put both in gear because we're, we're getting pulled off on our own. Swinging the wheel around. We move the wheel all the way to port. Now I'm gonna put starboard in reverse. We just bumped into gear and idle RPM, starboard to reverse, port wheel all the way over is continuing to bring the stern around to port and gonna be swinging the bow out to starboard. Everything we're doing, we try and do slow and smooth and just maintain control and uh, awareness of where our engines are and where our boat is in relation to the rest of the marina. I've now straightened the wheel so the engines are straight, starboard is in reverse, port is forward. So we're pulling up forward to continue swinging the bow around and bringing the stern around. Because the wind's pushing us off the dock, we want to be downwind from it. I'm going to work the boat a little bit forward so I may uh, bump in and out of uh, the reverse on starboard. So our engine centered, port forward, starboard reverse. We're just spinning the boat right now. We have a bow thruster that we'll probably use because we can. My default when docking or in a marina is to have the engine straight and use the throttles to maneuver our boat. It's a twin engine. Uh, it's very easy to maneuver and dock. As long as the weather allows you to do it, you want to steer than gear, you want to go slow, and you always want to return to neutral. That's a rule I'm about to violate. So I'm going to want a little momentum towards the dock when I come. Oops, and I didn't put them in neutral. Anytime you're not sure what you're doing, you just want to pull out. Less than proud of that effort. I panicked a little, I actually left my engines in gear instead of going to neutral when I did the turn, and that gave me too much reverse speed and I was distracted with, with trying to film. Clearly I need to practice more. Uh, that should be something that's easy and natural, and I had to think and anytime you have to think, it's it's uh, you're not going to do as well. So I'm going to make sure I do five more uh, five more turnarounds in the next week just to get used to sw swapping the boat and doing it comfortably. Subscribe to see a boat owner do a poor job docking their own boat. 
Uh, we're happy to humiliate ourselves for your benefit. It's always better to reset and retry rather than overcorrect with more fuel when you're trying to dock. Clear of any boats, stopped any forward momentum, and now we're just downwind from the dock where we want to be, stern uh, pointed towards the dock. And we're going to start pulling back in, and well, because of where we are, we need to be bringing our bow to port uh, and, and our stern in against the wind. We're going to use the bow thruster, moving the bow to the port, and we have a small bump forward on the starboard throttle, again, moving the bow towards the port. We have sternward momentum. Man, that was ugly. Momentum is still moving the bow to the port. We're gonna pull back in reverse on the starboard to continue bringing the stern in closer to the dock. We have one more bump to port on the bow thruster to keep moving us closer to the dock. Our stern is starting to swing out a little bit. Momentum still carrying us backwards. Our outboards are all the way to starboard. We do starboard to the bow on the bow thruster to stop our momentum to port. And we do starboard engine forward to bring the stern in uh, to the dock. So the engines are all the way over uh, forward on the starboard engine to bring us in close. Checking out behind us to make sure that we're close enough to the dock. And then we're just going to ease up to it. That was super sloppy. I was all nervous on film. I use the bow thruster more than I typically do. It's clearly not as smooth as I planned, especially filming it, but it's a perfect metaphor for being on the water. You want to be prepared so that you can react when things don't go as planned. That docking didn't go as planned, but we docked just fine. Well, that sucked. I did that so poorly because I got nervous. I was filming uh, and wasn't thinking, paying attention to what I was doing. I left it in gear in reverse when I was coming in. So I had to overcorrect and add more fuel than I wanted to do. So that's a great example of you can do it a lot of times, but any situation can throw you off. I clearly need to practice more and that's why you get out on the water and do it.